Hello everyone, and we're back. Yo. Yeah, we had some brief technical difficulties, but uh, that should all be, you know, behind us now, hopefully. Um, so yeah, today we're getting started with Backbone. It's a noir-style detective game featuring a raccoon. Hey, hey, guess who's a raccoon? This guy, me. Yeah, you can't see it, but I'm pointing to two thumbs at myself. Do raccoons have thumbs? I think they do. Anyway, or I guess they just have four fingers, five fingers maybe? No thumbs? No opposable thumbs, let's say. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. Book. Yeah, book. Uh, let's make myself a little bit bigger. Hello. So, as I was saying before, um, the stream died. Uh, I played this. Uh, I played the demo for this game, and I enjoyed it. But uh, the demo itself wasn't really didn't really go that far. I would say, plot wise, it didn't really get to the interesting stuff yet. It's just mystery, mystery, and some some nice puzzles. But beyond that, not not much else. All right, let's let's just walk around a little bit. This is our home. Hey. Hard to get tired of this view. Photo chemicals. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Yeah. I love a great soup. Maybe I should speak in like a gruffy voice, because I feel like this detective guy is going to be quite gruffy. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. <laughs> That's my motto. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it when I have cash, so never. Yep. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit too gruffy. We'll have to see. Where's the music though? Where's the music in this game? I think there's just no music at the moment, that's fine. Alright. Let's take a let's take a look at our map. Our cork board. Where most of our food is grown. Wildest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. Uh, okay, okay, sure. Nobody's, no one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories and cramped tenements block, blocks full of neglected souls. That's where the stuff gets made. Doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, actually. Uh, oh yeah, this game is based in Vancouver, by the way. So if you live in Vancouver or near Vancouver, you will probably recognize the shape. As well as some of the names like uh, Yelltown, Ga Gastown, Granville, and so on. Good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. Granville, where the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, rough edges, but it feels like home. Uh, so I guess we live right on Granville. Interesting. Lower Middle Classville. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up here on the border with West End. Sure. The docks. What, what we got in the docks? Where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars too. Ah, gas town. That's the dream. Well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it is nice and clean though. <laughs> Home to the high and mighty. Skyscrapers full of apes, big shots, and gated communities. They can keep it. Mama Helen Lotor taught me everything I know, and I've spent years trying to unlearn half of it. Okay. <laughs> maybe that's me. Is that me? Or is that my dad? That's my mom, maybe. Well, maybe not my um, biological mom. I call her Mama. So probably some sort of maternal matriarchal figure that was uh, teaching me how to grow up on the streets on the uh <laughs> the hard knocks life the hard not streets of vancouver maybe probably <laughs> all right let's see uh pianetti you beautiful dangerous renegade you maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again maybe an old flame you know she she looks less like a raccoon and more like a like a red panda you know that's a uh, very large uh, white marks on top of her head. Yeah, maybe. My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees th these days is snapping fools leaving places they shouldn't be in. Uh, in 
interesting. All right, uh, let's have a look at the case files. Ooh, chemicals. Let's play some chemicals. Oh, okay. Everything knows it's a proper place. Hey. <laughs> All right. I think uh, that was a phone call, right? That was a phone call, and I'm just tidying up before someone comes. It's me, Detective Raccoon on the case. Insurance f frauds, stolen cars, strange lovers. Should probably bin some of these old case files. Yeah, I should probably do that. But what if somebody uh, freedom acts me and I need to provide information? Well, I guess if you already threw it away, then there's nothing to freedom act, right? That's why they shred it. They shred stuff. <laughs> shred the evidence. Click the IRS is onto us. Ahem, I mean, what? Wow, IRS. Oh, pick, drag and drop. Ooh, okay. That's pretty nice. Pencil. Soup. Eat to pick up. Okay. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Nothing? Okay. Just tidying up. All right, I see. Go to the kitchen. <clears throat> is it just me or is the volume a bit soft on this game? I'll wash these later. Probably not. <laughs> just lick it clean. What do you mean? Ah, must be Mrs. Green. A new client for us. Uh huh. Odette. Odette Green. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone? Ah, uh, so that's my name, Detective Loader. Something I've deduced from this conversation I'm having with this ferret. Excellent. Uh. Uh. That's me. You were vague before, so tell me everything, Miss Green. Mrs. Green. Uh huh, okay. Odette, please. And it's a matter I'd like to be discreet about. Hmm. <laughs> Alright. What are we dealing with here? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. I it's about my husband, you see. He's a cheater, ain't he? <laughs> I think so. But I need real proof, right? To go to court? To go to the court? Court? Are you talking? Are you filing for a divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids. I... I can't take any chances anymore. Uh... But has he said or done anything to make you think he would? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. I work better when I know everything. I really rather keep a few boundaries, Mr. Lotor. Mm. Tell me how you caught on to the affair. He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant, a kind of herbal stink. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time, I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up, has he been aggressive? Ahem, <clears throat> maybe my... maybe that's too gruff, I don't know. <laughs> I can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Lotor. Odette, personal, de personal details can make or break a case. I don't see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I'm an investigator, and I know what's better... And I know better what's required for the case. It's none of your business. Let's move on. Okay, well, can we dig around something else then? I guess I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Ah, that's a good start. Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. Oh, you never know these days. I mean, I don't judge, but... You know, you don't you don't have to be an otter to get married with an otter. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm love wins. That's that's all I'm saying. Uh, he wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. <laughs> oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Okay, otter. I see. <clears throat> um, where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually, he's at home. At home? At work or at home? He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Hmm. 
curious. How would I pick him out from a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and a hat for him today. Ah, uh, thoughtful. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. Wolf Bank. Hey, hey, hey. It's run by dogs, I guess. On Granville, I'll write the address down for you. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. What's his full name? Any aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Jez? <laughs> okay. That should be enough. There's just a matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffi suffice? Yes, plus any un unexpected e expenses. It's not just my life writing on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? Uh, what, what, what can I say? To be honest, I can't. All I can say is my best. All I can do is my best. <laughs> I have put a lot of trust in you, Mr. Lauder. Please don't let me down. Of course. I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Alright. So it looks like I have a new case. To find one Mr. Jeremy Green. Cheating on his wife, it seems. Toilet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swall Toilet Read. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Where can I go? Guess I better head out. Onto the streets. Smoking's bad for you, kids. Alright. Yeah, can you hear that jazz? You like jazz? Ooh. In this city, sometimes all you gotta have is a little backbone. <laughs> Granville, let's go. <clears throat> Furman and Sons. Hey, didn't they win uh, that Grammy album of the year? In, uh, fuck, what year was it? 2016? It's my best guess. Granville. Smells like a wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. <laughs> mm. Alright, let's see. What have we got here? Squir squirrel. How you doing, squirrel? Yo, old man. <laughs> it's a pretty oversized squirrel, if you ask me. But I'm also a pretty oversized raccoon, so what can I say? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Yeah. How's your day so far? Just hanging. What's up with you? I'm tracking someone for a case. Okay, now we're talking. What the guy do? Mur murder? Arson? Uh, nothing so bad as your crime against fashion. What's with that jacket? You don't face me, bro. <laughs> Bye. Lawyer's office. Oh, whole shift to run. Eh, running don't seem that fast. Oh, it is pretty fast. Oh, is that him? Look at him. Is He's an otter? He's wearing a green hat? He's wearing green? M must be our guy. No, it's not. It's not our guy. Anatoly. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to in a fine evening like this? Ah, so, uh, so Howie's my name. Oh, he's... He's a beaver. Sorry, sorry. I mis I've mistaken the beaver for an otter. Ah, fuck. My bad, dude. <clears throat> my beaver. How are Estrella and the kids? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are great. Are good. Great. We even blessed the shepherd and got a second lad due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Two is too many, if you ask me. You'll want one eventually, Howie. So anyway. Essie is as round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, Heh, woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. You skellywag. And so, <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh boy, woman, man. Listen, Anatoly. 
women, mysterious creatures. They love bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? <laughs> so I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard. So the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Lil Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, daddy, we're gonna be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's the catch. There's a catch. You and mama are gonna have to look after him because two babies means zero daddies. Because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> well, that got depressing fast. You okay? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what did you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. You seen him? Yeah, I seen him. Barrels of barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back from the bile a couple times. He smelled of what exactly? Ah, uh, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. Mm. Any idea where he'd be now? Guess the bowel is as good as a guess as any. It's a goopy place, though, eh? Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. His smell did enough talking for the both of us. <laughs> Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. See ya. So, maybe I should check out the bile. It seems like the last place the guy's been seen. Oh, hey, is that a red panda? Hello. Or is that just a dog? Maybe they're cats. Anyway, it seems like the apes run this town, maybe? Hank. No entrance for raccoons, goodbye. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck, man? Yeah, you're turning me back just because how I look? Huh? I'm sure you can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Uh, sure. Bye. Mm, no luck. Seems like I'll have to find a different way in. Perhaps this alleyway will be my ticket. Oh, yo, Larry. Here's the raccoon friend. Howard, uh, well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry? The one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? <laughs> Who you calling old, you old rascal? Uh -huh, all right, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Who really expects to see anyone of note in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? I'm still a private detective. I'm happy for you. My own gig went downhill a while back. Sorry to hear. Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Can't tell. Client confidentiality. <laughs> Must be a shifty guy. What's he like? Um, here's a photo. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I've got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Ah, tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Hmm. Have any ideas of how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He know better than me. Who's Johnny? Skrill kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. Ah, I know Johnny. Lives just right down the street. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. Mm, what sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical, like, hype and shatterfang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. <laughs> monkey Butt. Yeah, where does the new thing's the shit? Though perhaps a little bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? No first hand experience, but... I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. 
All right, that's enough. Hopefully that's enough to get me in into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see ya. Mm, I used to know Larry from the good old days. Looks like life hasn't been treating him too well. Neither has it. <laughs> oh god, I can't, I can't keep this up that long. Mm. Oh look, there's a guy here. Almost missed him. I have to talk to him again later. Northern tickets and tea. Alright. Uh, you know what? I think I will want to save my game and call it a day here. Because uh, I feel like I'm not actually that prepared to uh, play this game the whole way to actually get started here. Plus, I think this stream wasn't announced, so no one is actually here right now. <laughs> uh, anyway. I will call it for the day, I think. Hopefully I s it saves. Do you want to quit? Yeah, sure. Hopefully this game saves. Um, I'll be back with this, more of this game on Saturday. Hooray! Uh, for now, thanks for watching and goodbye. Bye-bye.